Hey, good evening, everybody. Hey, Mr. Easy Go Lucky, how's it going, man? Uh, yeah, we've got a spontaneous show tonight because, uh, as you know, we've been working through the sketch event uh, pieces that were done. You know, I, I think I mentioned on Thursday that 4C has shipped all of their sketches that they got in from their guys already. But I got a call from Mark the day after we did the last calf update. And Mark had said that he got in a package with most of his artists work in it. And I said, well, hey, you know, we should do an unboxing because, you know, normally we'd show that stuff off next Thursday. But I want you to be able to get the, the art in the mail early this week. So we figured, hey, rather than record it, we would do it live. So Without further ado, my good friend, Mark from Splash Page Comic Art right there is uh, hanging out with me tonight. How are you, Mark? All right. Hey, Bill. Thanks for the showing the cover. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I've kept uh, this thing since, uh, when was that? San Diego, uh, 2004, 2005? Yeah, it's been been a while. That it has been. Sure. That definitely has been. So, uh, so yeah, you, you know, like I said, I got that call from you, man, and I wanted to, uh, you know, I, I made that offer to everybody, you know, whether we did an in unboxing or somehow, you know, get a chance to kind of show off the pieces before they go in the mail. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I'm glad that you're able to do this and you got the package from Paulo. So, uh, you know, we can actually see the artwork that uh, he had done those small pieces and whatever the, the finished piece turned out, the Thanos piece. So yeah, I was curious to be able to get a look at all of that stuff. We've got all that. And then also I happened to get a um, couple boxes from uh, Sean Phillips and Joe Quinones. So I'll show off a couple pieces from those guys um, that haven't hit the website yet. So oh, okay, cool. Uh, they've cool. got all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Marcus says, look at all those portfolios. Yeah. Yeah. yeah if only right those there. were his own artwork, uh, you yeah. know, <laughs> that's, that's the, uh, that is a rep's life right there. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, scanning all those uh, not as glamorous as uh, you, you might seem. You don't have like a team of scanners that do all that work for you? Well, I own a comic book store, you know that. And so mm -hmm. uh, my manager there helps me scan uh, these days. Uh, but probably most of this stuff was scanned by me. Uh, but, um, but yeah, I also have an art closet behind me and then, um, you know, new stuff that we get in. Uh, my my manager helps me at the shop, so so yeah, that definitely helps for sure. Yeah, I would if I were in your position with two businesses, I would definitely be paying somebody else to do the scanning because you got to do all, all the other stuff. You got to run the comic shop. You got to yep. take care of all of the art customers uh, who are in our audience who who definitely want yep. your priority attention. So, uh, so yeah, so let's, uh, so which box do you want to start with? I mean, maybe we should go slow. Maybe how about opening whatever the, you know, the stuff that Paulo sent you so we can see that uh, finished piece or do you want, do you have your own order that you want to go in tonight? Uh, well, you know, um, I guess we're doing the unboxing primarily because of the sketch event. So yep. maybe we should start there. You're the um, boss. So, uh, five of my artists participated. Uh, they all live in Argentina. Um, one, uh, his shipment is separate from everybody else's. Uh, so tonight we have uh, Francisco Paranzini, uh, Herman Peralta. Uh, let's see, who else do we have? Damian Cuchero and Leo Sandler. Uh, so let's see what we got. Uh, let me open it up. And, and they're going to be combined, I have a feeling. So... Um, I might need to separate some of this and unbag it as well. So it looks like this is so Herman Peralta. I don't know. Hopefully, some of you guys are familiar with his stuff. He does uh, pretty amazing watercolor stuff. So he took uh, one piece on um, for um, for the sketch event, and let's see if you can. I don't know if the camera is going to show. How the colors truly turn out and was that a commission that he took from the booth or was that uh no this is a sketch event he Holy. did he did full out for a sketch event yeah this this is normal uh well he does bust but so this is actually more like two-thirds figure so he really went uh to town uh for this person and this is um uh, an anime related character uh boy let me think um uh, I didn't write stuff down, but I'll I'll remember in a few minutes uh, which character this is. Uh, it's a video game uh, character, anime video game, so uh, it will come to mind 
in a minute. But yes, this is, uh, he doesn't normally charge 200 for <laughs> for this piece, as you can imagine why. But yes, right. uh, no, no. watercolor. Uh, so this person really got a deal. And uh, I imagine everybody agrees with me that. Uh, I'm not going to say pretty anything. Amazing. <laughs> no, that's really great. I mean, uh, yeah, I think a lot of the artists went above and beyond for these the first time around and even the second time around this this time. So, uh, yeah, this is great. And, you know, you know, I appreciate any of your artists that were able to help us uh, make this happen this time around. And this was your first time doing it with me, too. So this is great. It's beautiful. Yep. And Herman is the current artist on um, Black Panther. So the monthly artist on Black Panther, if you guys haven't checked his stuff out. Um, you know, we've either just listed or I'm about to list pages from issue nine and 10. But uh, yeah, he's been on for a couple issues. He did some Black Panther related stuff um, prior to being the monthly guy. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, but yeah, now he is working on Black Panther. Uh, so right. let's see what we have next. Uh, well, lots of uh, wows and beautifuls from the audience. Yeah, I, I agree. But uh, I did All put right. a link to Mark's, uh, you know, to splashpageart.com. I'm sure everybody's been there before. But uh, if you're curious about the artists as well, you can check out the, the artworks that Mark has up on his website for them, too. So this one I would like to keep for myself because <laughs> it's one of my characters that I collect sketches and commissions and stuff for. But uh, this would be uh, Leo Sandler, and this is Marv from Sin City. Dang, that is great. Uh, nice work on the shadows there, too. I yeah, like that. Like That's perfect. Yeah. Very Miller-esque to me in that regard, you know. So Leo Sandler. Very uh, Leo nice. took five pieces. Uh, so let's see what the next one is going to be. All right, so he chose to do watercolor on this one. So um, he just kind of did his own thing. Some he just wanted to do color on. Uh, some he thought, you know, were most appropriate doing black and white, like for the Miller piece, you know. Right. Um, so it's kind of artist choice when we uh, approach yeah. the. Very nice. You're spoiling. Uh, well, you're not spoiling. Your artists are spoiling. Uh, <laughs> the, yes. the commissioners here. Yeah, like I said, uh, people are getting a, a really good deal, in my opinion. Uh, oh man, by a woman. Dang. So Leo Sandler. That's his third piece. Magic. Yep. Wow. Well, yeah, he uh, he definitely put some time into these. That's so good. And Leo's last one is a rogue piece. Wow. And you can see, put time in the background as well. Love that spider oh, yeah. sky. So Leo Sandler, that's his fifth and final piece. Sweet. Yeah, there's going to be some happy collectors out there. Yeah, <laughs> I'll say so. Good. What are we seeing in the the chat? Everybody, uh, oh yeah, everybody those like, uh, yeah, yeah. I know you can't read it while you're doing that, but uh, yeah, no, very. All, the, all very positive comments. Awesome. All right, next group. Let's crack this. I see you've here. got Cut Masonite beside you as well. So you're. Oh, you can see that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, all of this, uh, you can't see it, but uh, there's like a stack. See all that? Yeah. Um, yeah, I've got about 20 pieces of artwork going out this week. Um, uh, so. I've got quite a, a yeah, large amount perfect. ready to go. I've got nice. labels printed, all the stuff behind the scenes that isn't glamorous about being an art dealer, but um, that is how we do it. Okay, so uh, 
we have Damien Cuchero. So he has worked on uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, then he's done a bunch of Marvel work. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, first piece, he did three, so. Oh, nice wash, ink wash work in that one. Yeah, Barda. Yeah. Yeah, we had about four or five big Barda requests this time around. None the Same first person. I'm huh? No, no, it actually wasn't. It was three oh, really? different, yeah, three different people. So I think two people. I know there's yeah. Yeah, I think it was either one person got three and then there were two separate ones, or two people got two and there was a third one. This is a last Ronin, um uh, Michelangelo. Um, Sweet. Damien Cuchero. Oh, he does a great job. And Galactus. So somebody Ooh. I think will be pretty happy with his piece. Uh yeah. <laughs> oh man. So lots of time there on the backgrounds of the planets and the space. Wow. So Damien Cuchero. Damien's uh, he did a great job on all three of those. Those are those are awesome. Jeff Jeff Moy just did great brushwork too. So yeah, I think everybody liked that Galactus a lot. Well, Damien does great work, man. I've I've seen yeah. it before. So let's see here. Uh, Francisco, I think did pieces. I think he did two pieces for the sketch event, and then there, there's other pieces that he sent me in the package. So I'll go ahead and show those sure. after the fact. They're not part of the sketch event, but uh, we have another Barda. This one. He's got some uh, Kirby Crackle going on in there as well, and painted again. Wow. And then uh, a little guy named Captain America. Sweet. Oh, that's right. I think you showed me that as uh, you weren't, it was black and white. I think it was ink work before, and you didn't know if they were going yeah. to color it. But yeah, uh, sweet. Yeah. Dang, that came out great. And then he did some other pieces uh, that he sent off. So these will be on the website. I don't think I've added them yet. Um, but, or maybe I just added them. But, uh, Batman, as you can see. Right. So the your guys that are down there, a lot of times when they're sending art up, they just kind of batch. Their, right. Yeah, their pieces. Yeah, That's it's, what, it's yeah. pretty expensive to send a package uh, from Argentina, uh, so they all try to get together and and share the shipping cost, and then also right. they will throw in some other stuff uh, that they have ready, so that um, yeah, it all goes together. And, mm -hmm. uh, it usually takes a couple weeks as well. Um, although this one was pretty fast, I think. Another Batman piece, this one's a bust. Very nice. And you can see a reoccurring theme here, more Batman. Uh-huh. Got a little Joker thrown in. And these are the extra ones, right, that he did? Yeah, these are the extra ones. Uh, and then... I'm just showing it to you now because it's in the same package. Right. Um, and this is, uh, I think, a marker piece, but Harley and friends. Nicely done. Yeah. So how do you usually and do art drops? Because I, I know you don't send out emails all the time. You, you put artwork out. You, you kind of do them more for our special art drops or things that you have going on. But... Do you just typically post artwork as you get it in, or do you do you do scheduled drops? Because um, I don't, I don't, feel, I get a feeling like you don't, or at least you don't PR them like a lot of, like some other. Reps. Yeah, I mean, I try to, you know, I juggle a lot with the comic book store, uh, and so often, I just I throw it up there. If I have a chance to do it as a release, mm -hmm. um, then I do, but. Um, I try to email the email list um, 
you know, even if I don't make some big formal announcement uh, on the front end of the website, uh, sure. but I've been trying to do that more um, so that, um, you know, people that don't have the presets in CAF um, to tell them that there are new pieces being added, get a shot um, mm -hmm. early on. But I'm assuming you pimp uh, that functionality on a regular basis to people. I do. <laughs> I do. So, I know I have often instantaneous responses from people on right. hot no, stuff. So. I try. I try to get everybody to use those keyword alerts. Yeah. Oh, sweet. So Francisco Paranzini. So I think that is all for the sketch event, guys. Except, like I said, Emiliano Erdnola lives in another city, so he is sending his three pieces, two two pieces, I mm -hmm. think, uh, separately. Uh, and then uh, hollow stuff. This is going to have some published covers in addition to the. Um, pieces that we did as part of his um, the panel. The Comic Art Live panel that we yep. did. A Sunday, uh, but Sunday panel. Again, he's... Paulo's done five out of six of those. So, hey, hey, Jeffrey Moy, you want to know, what, do I know what people commissioned from Cal? Yeah, I mean, I, I was the one who got, who compiled the whole list of uh, people who commissioned the artists and with the characters. And then I, I was the one who randomized the, uh, the selection of which which reps and then their artists got those pieces. So, uh, so I do have like the spreadsheet from all of that, that I fed out to, uh, to Mark and Tatiana, Jiggy and to Ken. Yeah. And I, I have that on my computer, but, uh, yeah, right. Cause Mark's going to be mailing. It. Yeah. That, Cause as everybody, I think everybody knows Mark's mailing his Ken mailed his Tatiana will be mailing hers, but Jiggy does send all of his to me because he's shipping from the Philippines. Oh, very Hello cool. Hello includes these little stickers um, that he makes, so they're of his artwork. So, so you I try to remember those send those out to people. Not keep them for yourself. Thing. I mean, not on purpose, <laughs> anyhow, but sometimes I remember after the fact, but I try to send those out. Man, he, he does a good job of uh, taping everything down, that's for sure. So we are... well, I'm looking forward to more published artwork from Paulo in the next few years as uh, yeah. he kind of gets back in, uh, uh, you know, in an, into an orderly state for him. But um, but so so you're saying you actually have some some published work in there too? Yep. So he did uh, six consecutive Walking Dead deluxe painted covers mm -hmm. for Skybound. Um, you know, they are reprinting all their Walking Dead stuff and it's uh, full color inside. And so he he did some painted colors, uh, covers for them. So uh, I think the last one, because schedule wise, he ran out of time. Um, it is partial, uh, partially traditional and partial digital, but uh, he sent, I think, five painted walking dead covers and uh superman batman so if you guys want to see those i'll be happy to crack those after we we do these uh, sure you've already seen these um you know i think uh, paulo had them but uh, maybe some people weren't in the show right these were all auctioned off to uh to the highest bidder during the sunday panel that yeah so work. these are four inch by six inch on sturdy um, artboard. Oh, that's right. It's got the BAMF on it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It takes a second for those colors to adjust, but some of you guys might be the winners of these. I don't know, uh, but some of y'all might have seen them in the, in the panel. Assuming some of y'all were, were there. Very nice. It was kind of a X Men, 
X-Men show here, but uh, She-Hulk got added uh, as well. So uh, this is a pretty awesome rogue. It is. That one had a lot of interest yeah. in it, I remember. And, yeah, obviously, he does what he feels like doing, whatever he's inspired by at the moment. Uh, we've seen you know, everything from Batman and Joker and Harley to lots of Marvel characters that he's done before. Uh, so this was, I'm going to show you the Thanos piece. Uh, we had the pencils and inks of this finished, and he was uh, painting it um, in the show, but he wasn't able to finish during the show. So this is the Thanos piece, and this is uh, larger. This is uh, 11 by uh, 14, so. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, you never can tell because when we when he was he was still working on that when uh, when when we wrapped things up, but it's so nice to see it finished because you, you, there's certain things like the way he treated the the you know, outer space in front of Thanos and also just even the way he kind of blended everything together. It, you, you know what I mean? You just can't tell with watercolors until it's all done. But wow, this is great! I like how he did the highlights on all the uh, gems as well. Yeah, for sure. So Paulo Rivera here, I imagine everybody knows who he is, but um, he has been kind of in and out of comics publicly over the last couple of years, been doing a lot of work for <clears throat> Marvel uh, Studios. Oh, that's Peter Robbie. Yeah, yeah, hey, Peter. Yeah, that's right, yeah, Peter. Got the, yeah, congrats I've on got, that. I've uh, got some Masonite down here with your name on it, uh, ready to go. <laughs> so uh, uh, hopefully I'll get to, to ship yours out tomorrow. All right, so this is a Batman Superman cover. Oh, we've got a couple pieces in this one. So now is this uh, this is a published Batman Superman cover? Uh, yes. So it's, is, a, is it's out now, or it's, was it out? Uh, when was it published? Uh, it's World Finest number nine. So yes, I believe it has already. Uh... Oh wow! Well, can't make a... Yeah, oh, look at there you go. Now we get to see Batman. There he is. Oh, and the hand. Bang. And that's watercolor, maybe some gouache on it. Yeah, uh, normally he does gouache, but I think this is pencil, inks, and watercolor in this one. It definitely looks... Uh, we've got a uh, full gouache uh on the walking dead stuff so we can compare so once again yeah it's beautiful yeah i think paulo's got a future in comics <laughs> yeah i think he's got some skills huh? <laughs> yeah it's uh, really right. really nice uh, he also he's uh best friends with joe quinones and his father uh, Joe Rivera inks both Joe Quinones and Paolo. And so occasionally I will also have a ink page by Paolo. I get them from Joe as well, but this is a Joe Quinones um, digital pencils, I'm guessing, and then Paolo Rivera uh, inks. So it's an original inked page by Paolo from the um, Batman 89 series. This one's issue five, um, page 20. So this happens to be in the same package. That's why I'm showing it off. So. That's nice. Yeah. It's the, you know, throwback to the uh, Batman uh, movie with Billy D. Williams, you know, mm -hmm. from 89. So, all right, we have the first of the Gouache Walking Dead <laughs> covers. And if you're a old school Walking Dead fan, you might recognize <laughs> the governor and his lovely daughter. So this is 
this is gouache. Very haunting image there, Mark. <laughs> yep, and you can see um, in the tanks. If you remember the, um, there was a double page spread by Charlie Adlard, and it, it said like 52 screens and nothing's on. It had mm -hmm. um, like empty television sets with water and zombie heads bubbling, you know? Yeah, um, no, I remember so it. That's the throwback to, to that. So yeah, if anybody squeamish, you'll <laughs> get some yeah. nightmares out of that. Scott said, I'm not allowed to buy that one. It's too scary. So I don't know if we'll be able to tell the difference or not, but uh, let's see if we can. No, it's uh, it does have a different quality. I can't see anything. So you tell me if you're actually seeing. Oh, no, you can see both. This, the, you know, you got it. Okay. You, you got a perfect mark. Don't don't move it. Okay. <laughs> if you if you put your head in between them, you'd be like Mr. Berkey during a Dueling Dealers episode. Exactly. No, I don't want to do that. Then <laughs> I'll, I'll let. Let Mr. I'll let Mike have <laughs> his own cool special himself. qualities. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's what, um, he, that is what is one of his many special qualities. I won't be shaving my head tonight uh, either. <laughs> by the way, so sorry to get anybody's hopes up. Oh boy, so Andrea, I'm glad you're with what we're doing here on the channel, though. But uh, oh, very nice. I like that this one. This is a Walking Dead uh, Deluxe uh, 44 cover. So. By Paolo Rivera. Sweet. Yeah, that's great. Uh, let's see. I think there's one more pack of color stuff. Imagine you guys don't mind checking these out. No, no. I think so, I, I love Paulo stuff. I regret not doing more of it. The 45 cover. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I like the, uh, you know, I wonder what kind of art direction he got on the, you know, the color tones and everything. I mean, I, you know, I kind of feel like he's kind of approached each of these very similarly, you know, with the palette and, uh, and everything. I'm sure they look really well together. I mean, that was going yeah, into it. Yeah. I thought they were connecting or, or make a larger image or something. I'm not entirely sure, but I believe that might be the case. All right. We might have, but uh, yes, delight. All those, all those uh, portfolios in the back are all full of original art that Mark does not own, since he reps a lot of artists. That's all yeah. the the art that he has on his website. That is correct. Tyrese, if you remember Tyrese, he was a super popular character in Oh yeah, The Walking Dead. So once again, uh, Paulo Rivera, fully painted uh, gouache covers that have not been put on the website yet. So does Paulo let you know what he's shipping you typically? Or do you? Uh, yes, yeah, he's very organized. He, uh, he types out a full list of everything uh, in inventory in the package uh, and puts it in multiple bags, tapes it down. Really good packing job. Yeah, Paulo is gets an A plus on his shipping. I've I've been, you guys probably don't want to hear this, but uh, I've been shipped all kinds of stuff over the years, sometimes literally like in butcher paper, nose protection, and um, miraculously, 99% uh, of the time they arrive without any issue. But some guys, um, you know, definitely pack better than other guys. And thankfully, Paolo packs this stuff very securely. Anybody remember who, who this, uh, which hand, uh, this, who this is? Anybody remember? I don't. Walking Dead. I think that's Herschel. Oh. That or the, the prisoner maybe, and I can't remember. There are four prisoners 
that were held together. Um, I remember the obviously tank. Rick is the main character and his wife. Yeah, they're very nice. So that is the last of the Paulo Rivera stuff. Uh, so Sean Phillips sent me a package of stuff. Uh, it's a whole box of um, Reckless. If you if you haven't been reading Reckless, you need to. Uh, it's seriously one of my uh, most favorite things that they've done, and one of the things that I just sit down and read whenever I get it in the shop. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I have a box that I've been getting lots of emails about. Uh, and I finally scanned it all, but have not uh, put it on the website. That should be hopefully tomorrow. We will see. Um, and then some vintage, um, uh, vintage Hellblazer stuff. So um, I pretty much sold out of his Hellblazer pages. Um, he did a really long run uh, back in the 90s. And so I hit him up to see if he had any uh, stuff because we were getting inquiries. And so this is his last batch of Hellblazer stuff, I believe. Uh, so there's, uh, you know, stuff back from 1994, 90, uh, 95, um, in the issue, you know, 90, you know, 93, I think, through 120. So there's some cool stuff in here. I'm just going to randomly grab a page out of the box, but um, if you're so, ever yeah. a Hellblazer fan. Holding back a few things just to, you know, potentially keep them for himself or. Uh... Uh, you know, I think so back in the day he did, I don't know, more than 30 or 40 issues. Right. Yeah. And yeah. so he gave me large chunks of it over the years. And I think he had just had some set aside that, um yeah he didn't realize i had sold out and so i told him that you know we had sold out and uh he shipped me the last chunk of stuff so that's nice um, to get some vintage artwork in from sean uh, yep. and ron said that the uh the guy with the beard was axel okay so i was correct on that one cool and then Issue 115 for Walking Dead, uh, Charlie Allard was looking for an inker to ink over him um, for interiors. And uh, Charlie and Sean are, are good friends, have known each other for years. And so he had, uh, he asked um, Sean to ink something of his uh, so that he could throw it to the guys at Skybound and, you know, decide. Um, who they wanted to work on that. And Sean said he actually had a full schedule, so he didn't know that it would work for him, but he went ahead and inked the, uh, so this is his inks over Charlie Adlar's blue lines on the 115. Um, so they had several covers on issue 115. That was when uh, Stefano Gariano ended up inking him. Uh, but this is Sean's inks back from 2013 over um, Adlar's um, Blue Lines uh, as basically a sample, um, you know, unpublished cover mm -hmm. um, to show the, the guys at Skybound uh, what Sean can do. So um, you'll probably recognize this image if you followed Walking Dead back in the day. Um, but yeah, it's Sean's inks. So it looks a little different than Charlie's. I think Charlie ended up doing pencils and inks of his own on this cover, but uh, interior-wise, uh, Stefano Cariano ended up doing the inking him, and Stefano's one of my guys as well. So yeah. that will be put up on the website sometime soon. And so uh, Sean and Ed Brubaker are, I've been working together for, I don't know, 20 years, and yeah. they just announced, uh, so they've been doing uh, multiple volumes of Reckless, I think this is the fourth or fifth, fifth volume that just came out. Um, and that that is what I'm going to have an art drop for um, later this week. But they have a new project that they showed this cover um, for Night Fever. Uh, so this is pencils and inks for a book called Night Fever. Let's see. 
and the book has not come out yet, but they have solicited um, it. So I think it's coming in the next month or two, but uh, I think it's a new ongoing project called Night Fever from Ed and Sean. And then Sean will work on other image uh, books. Um, I guess people or friends who are doing them hit them up. So this is Love Everlasting, a cover that Sean did. And a new book that is solicited, it hasn't come out yet as well, called All Against All uh, through Image. So. Now, do you got to hold that back until it comes out, or how do you usually handle that? Well, once the images are solicited online, uh, I'm able to sell them without any issue. Mm -hmm. um, if it was interiors, then obviously people haven't seen those yet. Uh, but because these images have been shown publicly, um, then I can show them and I can sell them. Okay. And then uh, Joe Quinones sent me a pack of art. So it's, uh, it's feast or famine. Uh, you know, you won't get anything from the guys for a couple of weeks or, or longer. And then next thing you know, you've got four packages showing up. So this is the uh, interior splash from Joe Quinones uh, from Batman 89, the Billy D. Williams Two-Face. Sweet. That is awesome. Yeah, so. We need to like print this and make, uh, you know, them for Halloween. So we can have paper right. masks like that, right? Uh, and more, yeah, more. I won't show you every page, but more um, Batman 89 pages. So. And who are those inked by? Uh, well, these are penciled and inked by Joe Quinones. Okay, so Joe Rivera inks some of his stuff. It's really a matter of um, his schedule and when stuff is due. Uh, I think that when they have time you know he's sending stuff off or emailing uh, images to joe rivera to ink uh, but when he gets in a, a deadline and he he needs to get stuff done and he doesn't have i think he's sending out multiple pages like he'll hit uh joe rivera to do some and then if he's really in a pinch he'll hit uh, uh he'll hit palo up to do a page and that's what that was a second ago and then he will ink other pages himself. So, uh, you know, these guys work pretty long hours trying to make their deadlines. And so you'll just see them turn to yeah. friends and family for. Well, we've for heard help. those stories, you know, a lot, you know, or uh, even back in the day, right? You just, if there was, uh, if you were, had a couple inkers in the same room and you needed to get something done, sometimes you helped out a friend. And no, these are not the, uh, uh, they're in. Maybe I need to pull them out. Um, yeah, that's better. These we are not the Bill Cox Dynamite Vampirella covers. Are, <laughs> Vampirella yeah, yeah. versus Red Sonia. Yeah. Um, Did you know? Where I, I'm actually. I didn't. Oh no, I did send you. Yeah, and, you snapped me. Yeah. I did. I sent you. <laughs> it's all right. So you knew what they were. I haven't. I haven't talked about that project yet. So oh, don't say anything okay. else. <laughs> okay. Well, well you've are, already they've already had you've already had a couple covers come I've out. Been on, yeah, I had a comic art live cover with yeah. Vampirella. But yeah, yeah, that's that's it's not top secret. I was gonna announce it on, on Thursday. Gotcha. And then this is uh Wonder Woman. Not sure oh, sweet. I'll clear it and try to straighten it out. Are you guys seen... nice. Yeah, yeah. It's a you know, it's it's picking up the glare off your monitor a bit, but no, that's good right there. Wow, that's nice. And then, and then uh, this is a cool cover. I think uh, somebody's going to want this. Probably the Wonder Woman as well, but this, I'll pull this out. Uh, so this is a Superman piece that I don't know if it's homage to. Um, oh, hell, what's the... Uh, 
fine artist uh, back in the day, the, all the post. Rockwell? Um, yeah, Rockwell. My brain's not working. So, I don't know if this is a Rockwell or just in that style, but. Right, I get um, it. Superman, you know, yeah. giving a picture to a young man. It's nice. It's really nice. And then this is uh, a little different style for him, but it's a uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Saturday morning adventures. So it's kind of more cartoony style. If you guys can it's coming at see. you in 3D. Yeah. Cool. Cowabunga. Then, yep, Cowabunga. And then <laughs> Blue Beetle, the new Blue Beetle apparently i own a comic book shop i can't keep up with all the new versions and stuff so maybe you guys know more than me but uh, there's a new blue beetle coming out i'm waiting for the marvel art mark Where, where's the marvel art at well you know i <laughs> working for dc so i know i know i'm just making but i think you will like this one everybody will like this one this one's pretty cool and i i think in the coloring the hello there turns into hell here would be my guess but this is a pretty cool oh nice yeah that's cool <laughs> with the cats i like the expression on that one on the lower right remind you of one of yours yeah exactly i've seen that look before <laughs> yes that's very nice so it's batman 89 piece and then uh yeah there's another batman 89 with the robin of oh, that, that sweet. time period so. boy being uh, a rep is uh tough work man you get to look uh, well, at all, this, all this great artwork all the time yes and you can't afford everything that's for sure so, <laughs> or all this would be belonging right, to it would me be yours. Out, <laughs> until yeah until the repo man came to mm -hmm. reclaim everything but uh so yeah that uh, i mean i'm actually i think i had one last little package and this is actually for an artist friend of mine that i don't rep for comic books but uh it's magic the gathering art and so this hasn't been up on the website yet but if there are any magic the gathering people in there this is a uh, rabble rouser his name of the card by justin norman so i'm not sure it's a goblin not sure you guys can see it but it's old school uh for magic it's like oh, when is it uh, 2006 i guess um so he is um best friends with uh, brian tease who lives in seattle they both live in seattle and so i was up there and so he dug through some old um boxes and found some old magic art so i'm helping him um well, sell a couple pieces so. high in demand i mean i you know i follow the market a little bit so yeah it's definitely come into its own in the last four or five years and this is yeah. another piece called nice. steam core weird I believe is the creature, but there. Uh, uh, 2005 on this one. So anyhow, those <clears throat> usually go through. Uh, there's some big uh, magic art Facebook groups that a lot of, of the stuff is sold through. Oh yeah. Uh, so that is probably where that stuff is gonna end up. But That's yeah, so to do it. Yeah, because there's no central site for that kind of stuff, really. Um, not for sales, anyway. Yep. Uh, let's see. Oh, I think I forgot. I have this is another piece that I had separated out already. So actually, this is more of the sketch stuff. This is uh, Gandalf um, by Leo Sandler. So this is one of the sketch uh, that was from the sketch, sketch. yep sketch oh, okay Knight. sweet and then this is 
Who knows what Mark will find in, in another huh? drawer? I said, who knows what you'll find in another drawer? Yeah, that's the whole drawer. There's all kinds of stuff in there. So okay. time payments and and um, you know stuff that I'm waiting to ship for whatever reason. So this is Damien Cuchero um, Crow mm -hmm. piece. And that's another sketch that, of piece, right? Yeah, yeah. That happens to be going, I think, to the same guy, maybe. And this is a piece that sold that night through the um, through the website, Comic Art Live. So this is a, a Trevor Hare sign, Bear Nemo. Yeah, I love Trevor's work. That's great. Nicely done. Yeah, I think that's uh, most all the stuff. I've got a drawer full of other things, but they belong to other people. So uh, we can't show those. Well, at least your on hold stack isn't, you know, a foot high. So that's a good sign as, as a as the dealer rep. That's a, that's a positive. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's a, about a four inch by 30 inch drawer worth <laughs> of stuff. So. Awesome. So what else is going on, Mark? You got any other art drops coming? Any more packages coming in the mail that we should know about before we end this this uh, little little uh, show this evening? Uh, well, um, honestly, I can't remember whether I have already announced uh, the so the stuff. Um, I put some stuff up by uh, Max and Sebastian Fiamara on the. Uh, comic art live event and there was more stuff that they sent uh but you know i only put up so much um so there's going to be more stuff that added to splashpageart.com um that you know from those guys as well as uh some of the other artists um you know in the event uh that you know i only put so many pieces up or had time to put uh, stuff up. So yes, there's pretty much a constant stream of stuff right now. Um, adding all kinds of stuff. I've got more from Sean that, you know, I've got a, a box full of stuff from Sean, um, from follow me down the new reckless book mm -hmm. and, uh, Herman Peralta, uh, prisoner X and, uh, strike force, black Panther maestro, uh, so yeah, I've got three FedEx boxes full of artwork staring at me, uh, telling me it's time to finish yeah, you know, get the, loading get them up on the website. So uh, mo a lot of that, most of that stuff is up in the admin, ready for me to check some boxes uh, and just make a, a big art drop, which I am hoping is going to happen tomorrow. That's my my goal. So okay. yeah. Well, Josh Flanders said that. Uh, he uh, needs to reach out about some Sean Phillips art. And you should, Josh. Yep. Yeah, you should. Sean, amazing stuff. Uh, you know, like I said, honestly, the reckless material is my favorite stuff that he and Ed have done. Love the characters. Every book has been a good read. Uh, so, yeah, there's a couple pages in there I want to keep myself. Uh, unfortunately, those are the pages I'm already getting uh, interest in uh, from people. <laughs> Uh, before i've even listed anything so uh but yeah i would be a collect a pure collector not a dealer if i kept everything so uh, well you can't so do we'll that see. you gotta you gotta keep the fans happy yeah oh man well hey mark this is uh as yeah. always, this is fun we need to do these more often you know yeah we gotta hang sure. out a little more it's uh you know it's almost calf's 20th anniversary did you know that 20 20 years is february Yep, uh, it was uh, Splash Pages anniversary uh, this May, this past May, twenty twenty two. So, uh, as you probably remember, you were with you were me my in first San Diego part. that year. Yeah, of course, <laughs> and best, right? Of course, Absolutely. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, well, you know, nobody else. The other dealers aren't watching. Yes, absolutely, Mark, the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you always remember your first, Mark. That's the thing. Stay safe. Yep. And we did do lots of New Yorks and San Diego's together for many years consecutively. Uh -huh. 
Uh, hopefully we can get the crew back together for for one. Yeah, I haven't seen Chris time. in a while. It's been a couple of years. Um, yeah. I think right just before the pandemic was probably the last time I saw him. We went to a Kevin Smith thing. But, uh, but yeah, I need to get together with him sometime soon, too. Yeah, we need to time a, an event with a, ba a pro baseball game, and then we can maybe get him to come out. To yeah. Check it out. Yeah, he's he's more into baseball these days than comic books. Yeah. Yep. But well, thank you for doing this, Mark, and thank you oh, for my pleasure. Doing hey, it. thanks to everyone who jumped in to check stuff out. I appreciate y'all. Whether you guys were one of the recipients or, or just wanted to see some some cool new artwork from some of my guys. So. Yeah, exactly. And anybody who got gets any of those sketch pieces in the mail this upcoming week, please get them posted on CAF too. And say where you got them so everybody knows it came from the sketch event. And uh, we both appreciate that. So, again, thank you, Mark, for doing this. And uh, everybody oh, you're else, welcome. thanks for tuning and, in. And uh, you guys be waiting to see your piece of Masonite show up uh, <laughs> sometime soon with your sketches in it. So. You, you are well known for your, your Masonite, Mark. Yeah. It's, it makes its rounds forever. You know, it gets re-gifted to other yep. clients. All right, everybody. Okay. Anyway.